Hey everyone, Dan Takashi here. Today is currently uh, Japan time, the 23rd of January, and it is 9-11 uh, a.m., meaning that it is on U.S. time. It's currently the 22nd at 7-11 p.m., and I want to give you guys a quick update on world news that is going on over the last 24 hours. My name is Dan. I'm a former Wall Street guy, former hedge fund guy. Please see the below description area as to who I am. Would appreciate it if you guys subscribe to my channel going forward by pressing that subscription button below. And also, if you enjoyed today's content, would appreciate it if you smash that like button. I uh, would very much appreciate it appreciate your support. Uh, so let's get started, guys. As usual, uh, looking at global news, I always start first. Even if you're not interested in the stock markets, you got to look at the markets first because it's all reflected there. You do a quick rundown, look at the numbers, say, okay, this is the world, what the world's doing. Then you go into economic news, society news, political news, all that good stuff. So let's go in that order today and let's give you guys a quick rundown of what's going on here. Okay. So first and foremost, let's look at here uh, global stock markets here. Now looking at global stock markets here today, the U.S. market uh, closed uh, just a few hours ago, and the Dow today was down 0.57%. S&P 500 was today down 0.3%. The Nasdaq was down. Oh, sorry, it was up 0.09%. Looking at TSX Canada, uh, this was down 0.39%. And looking at Europe, we saw Eurostoxx 50 was down 0.44%. FTSE was down. In the U.K., down 0.3%. DAX Germany. Uh, down 0.24%, CAC France down 0.56%, and IBEX Spain down 1.06%. This is all for the 22nd. Now, looking at Asia, markets are already closed, but this is for Friday time. Uh, the Nikkei was down 0.44%. The Topics was down 0.22%. Hansang Hong Kong was down 1.6%. CSI China up 0.09%. ASX Australia down 0.34%. MSCI Asia Emerging Markets down 0.7%. Um, <clears throat> interestingly to note, you know, the markets are just down a little bit today, not that much. I think this is kind of just digestion period right now because we had such a strong November, such a strong December, also strong beginning of January. Anyway, so now there's just digestion, especially because there's a lot of earnings coming up next week. So I believe the markets are kind of a little bit nervous, just thinking, okay, are things going to be okay? What's going to happen? So probably not a lot of people are buying or selling at the moment. So now let's move on to economic activity here because there's a lot of economic news that actually also came out today as well. Uh, looking at economic news today. In the U.S., we saw U.S. factory activity uh, grows at a record pace. The IHS market manufacturing PI uh, jumped to 59.1 in January from 58.3 in December, well above the market forecast of 56.5. So a strong recovery in U.S. PMI manufacturing data for we see January here. Uh, otherwise, we see the uh, U.S. existing home sales uh, rebounded very nicely uh, to 0.7% from the previous month uh, to 6.76 uh, million units in December. December beating the market forecast of 6.55 million units. Uh, also, we see in the U.S. the services PMI was also announced today. Uh, it came down out to 57.5 in January from 54.8 in the previous month, also beating market expectations. So this is the biggest news of the day. U.S. economic data was quite strong today. So even though the market today started a little bit weak at the open, it actually rose a little bit and recovered throughout the day because there was strong economic data that came out today. Uh, now let's move on to coronavirus and a, a global update in terms of global daily new cases that was announced today. So uh, daily new cases that we see announced today, this is again for January 20th. Uh, this is for 20th, where's the 21st here? Uh, 21st data, for some reason it seems like it's delayed here. Okay, this is for January 20th here, 676,649. Let's see if I can refresh this. I'm sure this is outdated here. Okay, here we go. January 21st, 670,113 here. So again, we're seeing that to me, this is now multiple, multiple days that that's recorded during the week, that even though it's during the week, the numbers, I think there's a decline here the last two weeks or so. So this is a good sign. It seems that maybe the worst is over for this uh, third wave globally. Daily new deaths today that was recorded for January 21st was 16,739. Again, this is still spiking because daily new deaths are unfortunately lagging from daily new uh, number of cases. Looking at the number of cases worldwide today, we saw in the U.S. today reported 194,000 cases. Brazil, about 59,000, about 60,000. Spain, about 44,000. U.K., about 37,000. And France, Russia, Mexico, Germany, Colombia, India, anywhere between 14,000 to 22,000 here. So U.S. is again staying steady below 200,000 now, about several days in a row. That's a great sign. U.K. also below 40,000 now, several days in a row. So that's a good sign as well. 
Brazil still not stabilizing. Brazil is the only one that it's it's not really stabilizing at all. Uh, the other countries seem to be stabilizing. Spain is also kind of rising this week. So these countries, Brazil and Spain, to me, uh, look to be in a little bit of a danger. Uh, meanwhile, U.S. and U.K. starting to stabilize. So hopefully this vaccine route is starting to work. Looking at global number of vaccines, world map of vaccines here. Again, we're seeing slowly, slowly these countries being, you know, their, their colors starting to change very slowly. I'm looking at this every day so you can see. The U.K. is getting darker and darker here. Uh, the U.S. and Spain is already pretty dark colored here. This is for uh, vaccines per number of 100 people here. Uh, China is already getting pretty dark. Argentina is pretty dark. Now we're seeing Brazil and parts of, uh, you know, Oman, Saudi Arabia also starting to get dark as well. Now let's move on to other types of news today. Mainly let's look at, uh, you know, political news, etc. There was a lot of news today. Mainly, no, this is really just talking about Look, Biden's inaugurated. He's putting together 17 new uh, signatures just in the last uh, first 24 hours of his office. I did some videos on this yesterday. Uh, now, meanwhile, we're seeing that and in the U.S., uh, the House is pushing ahead with this impeachment charge. The House is going to deliver an impeachment charge against the former President Trump to the Senate on Monday, uh, rejecting the Republican Senate majority minority leader Mitch McConnell's request for a delay. I uh, remember he used to be the uh, majority leader. Now he's the minority leader because now it's 50 versus 50 for Democrats versus Republicans in the House. So it looks like this impeachment trial in the Senate is probably going to begin the week of February 8th, uh, according to Chuck Schumer, who is the uh, majority leader, uh, the Democrat leader for the Senate in the US. So that's pretty big news here. <clears throat> We'll see how long it takes. We'll see if it even passes the Senate. But if Trump does get impeached, uh, this is going to have huge ramifications worldwide uh, for, you know, his basically whether he could ever run for office again as well. Uh, so uh, that's really the biggest news. Otherwise, guys, looking throughout the other types of news I saw today. Um, Biden's student loan freeze shows path to erase billions of debt. Look, he's trying to erase tons and tons of student debt. I think that's a terrible idea, but nonetheless, it's been very, very popular. Uh, you know, again, giving out money like candy and just erasing debt. You continue to do this, and at some point, money's not going to be worth anything. But nonetheless, uh, that's kind of where things are going at the moment. Um, otherwise, guys, you know, look, uh, I think Apple and Tesla earnings, along with the Fed and GDP, are going to drive the market next week. So markets are sort of sitting still. Some of these big names are going to report next week. So uh, and that's not just these these things. There's a lot of names reporting next week. So I think, uh, you know, everyone's kind of nervous and just sitting on the sidelines to see what's going to happen here. Um, otherwise, guys, that's really it for the day. I didn't see much. Uh, I'm doing some more videos today. I had a really, really awesome uh, blog that I read today talking about how the markets are just absolutely crazy and ridiculous right now, showing a lot of over overvaluation, especially the number of companies that are uh, public right now that are losing money. That Goldman has an index. This thing is skyrocketing. The skyrocketing in ways that I've never seen a chart skyrocket in the last you know 10 years. It's crazy. Just 2020, what happened? Uh, very different from the last 10 years. So. Um, uh, stay tuned for this next video, guys. Hopefully you enjoy the content. Uh, thanks again, guys. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe below. And also press that like button if you enjoyed today's content. Thanks again, guys. Have a great day. Safe investing.